Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and I welcome you guys to part 5 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Bloodlines. Uh, we have just gotten the conversations out of the way and uh, Gast has actually told me that he plans on cutting down uh, on the amount of conversations that takes place in this chapter and I, I wholeheartedly agree, it's, it's way too much dialogue. I had to spend like 15 minutes just talking to everyone and while I do love talk conversations, I feel like they should perhaps be spread out a little bit. Anyway, we need to deal with this chapter. Uh, this chapter kind of sneaks up on you in a big way. There's a lot of enemies here. A lot of them are flying. There's this little mini boss over here. And I think the best course of action is to make sure this guy attacks a golly. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit risky. I'm going to place a golly in this forest tile right here. Because a golly is like blazing fast, he is going to murder this guy. And he's also going to dodge since he has so much evasion. This is why I value speed so highly. I think the speed is one of the most uh, important stats in Fire Emblem. Magic skill and speed. Why would you look at that? Holy fuck, Agali is so damn good right now. I, I have no words, really. 12 speed! He's not supposed to be this fast. I think I just lucked out and got speed on every single level up. Talking about speed, I made a mistake in the last part. I listed Nilo's speed growth at 70%. This is false. This is very, very, very false. Her speed growth is 35%. These are her actual growths. So she is not as overpowered as I first thought she were. Uh, and uh, some people reacted to this. They were like, whoa, this chick is overpowered. And I agree, 70% speed growth would have been absolutely insane. So she's now a little bit more akin to a normal dark magic user. Or she's, she always was, I just read out her speed growth wrong. I think I got her and Tyrant's speed growths mixed up wrong. But I didn't list Tyrant's uh, speed growth at 35%, so I don't really sure what happened there. Probably just my eyes. Um, one thing though that a lot of people have commented on is that they think that Nilo's constitution is unusually high. I mean, she looks to be a woman in her early 20s perhaps it's kind of a little bit difficult to tell but seven constitution i mean if we take a look at some of the other guys in this army like okay bram is nine that's okay do has four malcolm has seven a golly has six a golly seems slightly bigger than nilo yet he has less con tyron has seven okay kale is 13 he's a big guy i mean her sister sadati she has five I don't know, 7 just seems a little high, in my opinion. Uh, I don't mind, since dark magic is like heavy as fuck and she needs all the con she can get, but it just, something about it, it just me the wrong way, but it's just a minor gripe, I'm not gonna go balls deep on that one. Anyway, uh, we need to do something about this guy. This guy is scary, has 9 speed, uh, so he doubles Nilo. Gotta be very careful about this guy. He can also move very far. He can move just as far as this Myrmidon, which is a little bit annoying. Which is why I think we need to pull him from here. Um, what we can do is we can try to do some damage to this mercenary with Nilo. We gotta keep the miniboss far away from... from uh, oh, er, 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 got a sound like there. I haven't gotten those in a while. We gotta keep the miniboss far away from Malcolm, because I do believe he one-shots Malcolm. Which is not fantastic. Also, uh, we seem to just not have enough. Oh, this would be amazing. Kel, could you please hit this? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now comes the question. Can Dewey... No, sorry. Can Malcolm kill this guy? He can double the guy, do 16 damage. As long as it's out of the range of the boss. It, would, and it is, so that's good. So now we just need to make sure if Dewey can take a hit from the boss and a hit from the Myrmidon. And if he can, we can finish off this guy. Or we could always send... No, we, wait, no, wait a minute. We used Bram already. Um, the Myrmidon does 10 damage. Which to Dewey's 6 defense becomes 4 damage. And then this guy does 14 damage. So 10 plus 4. That is... Yeah, Dewey will be able to survive that. No problem. Granted, he doesn't take a... Ret he might take 3... Oh, that'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Dewey can take that. Dewey is actually... This is what I mean by Dewey actually being a little bit tanky. Even though it's kind of deceiving, he's actually more durable than you think. Uh, when he gets a few defense level ups, which... He actually has a very decent defense growth as well, so... It's actually not so bad. I can actually heal Dewey, which is even better. Doesn't really matter, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, I think there's a house over there we haven't visited yet. There's a lot of houses we haven't visited, but let's visit this one. Nilo's Notes. Uh, I can't remember if I actually read this one out in the last part. I don't think I did. 
Um, did I? I'm sorry if I did. I'm going to read it again anyway. Month of Wind. Infusing magic into the sword continues to be a difficult task. Iron or any sort of metal seems to be destroyed by any sort of enchantments. Wood or any other similar element seems very conducive, as seen in the commonality of various tomes available to the public. Perhaps I must find more durable nat natural materials with properties similar to metals, perhaps stone? Sissy seems to think that only Viperians are capable of performing such magic. I do not believe her. I know this. I will be able to uncover this mystery. Onwards with research, but first, food. My tummy is oh so rumbly. Sadati's notes. Month of the Moon. All Juron and animals have a weakness. I wonder if Viparians also have a specific weakness too. It is documented that garlic and similar plants of the onion genus are strongly disliked by snakes. I must consider now if Juron, shame the sh Juron sh share the same weaknesses as their animal counterparts, are Viparians also weak to the onion genus? Brimstone induces weakness via physical contact. A more distant defense could be critical if the recent red luster attacks were motivated by attacks from Viparians themselves. Interesting, yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh, oh, nice one, Dewey. So this will pull the mini boss towards us. I gotta say though, I kind of feel like this chapter needs an anti. Oh shit! I did not notice. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fucking no! Oh snap! I did not notice that guy. I think I think I just lost Dewey. I'm pretty sure the mini boss does more damage than a than a normal Lupian. Fucking hell! Oh my master and my elder brother Cadman died. Did did I just get killed by this guy again? The fucking again, guys! Wow. Okay. Holy shit! This is annoying. Okay, so this map really fucking sneaks up on you. It really does. Um, because this mini boss combined with the other Voluprians just re no wait, I was supposed to load a safe state. Yeah, don't don't restart, by the way. Do not restart. He doesn't seem to have a bad habit on this chapter, or bad habit I'm saying, bad effect on this chapter, because the enemies do not appear to despawn. But I'm just gonna get used to loading a save state when I die instead of restarting as it, it just causes less hack. And I do get to keep this amazing level up, so it's not that bad. Alright, so let's actually... We could attack with Kale, but then we run into the problem of this boss and yeah, then he just gets focused. But I still think killing this guy is a good idea. And so since we're moving on the same RNG, I know it's gonna happen, which feels like cheating, but... Again... I do believe it's only one of the chapters that bugs out if you do a restart, but I can't remember which one. I'm too lazy to read the readme, so... Anyway, uh, I think it's probably for the best if we just move Tyrant up here. Um, we could actually go and attack this dude, but I don't think I wanna. We'll move like so. Because now... Uh, Nilo will kill this generic soldier, or at least do some damage to him. I don't think she doubles. Or does she? No, she doesn't. And that will look for him from the right there. As I said, this chapter really sneaks up on you. You, you have to be really careful. So does Agali actually double a Volupian? Of course, I think he does. Does he? Yeah, he does. Fucking hell. Agali, the based god. This fucker as well. Should have placed someone with a ranged attack in that forge. It's okay though. Tyrant's good. Tyrant's cool. But as I said just before I got killed, I kind of miss an anti-turtling incentive with this chapter because I feel like I can just take my time here, which is a little bit sad. I gotta gotta be honest, it's a little bit sad. Uh, all right, let's just kill this guy with Tyrant. <coughs> then we can use Malcolm. Just gotta be careful so there's no yeah, there's not a Volupering Ranger up here as well. Being uh, flying units, they are pretty good against each other. Civil War ever brought up, uh, um, <laughs> ever um, broke out in Volupre, so it'd be a very intense battle as they just shoot each other down all the time. All right, uh, we'll let Kale finish this guy. We also need to heal Agali up. All right, level up for Kale. Let's see what this bad boy gets. Strength and speed. Blech, hit point skill. Ugh. 
All right, let's go and heal up a golly. And we, we have like a fire tome with one use left on it. Seems like a good opportunity to use this. Also, I do believe someone has a heal staff for Sadati. I bought one on the previous chapter. Can't remember who has it. Ram, maybe? Anyway, let's go pull this fucking mini boss already. I'm like, I actually haven't tried speaking to him. Um, well, let's see. I think Bram is solid enough to take shots from these guys, so I'm actually gonna move in Bram. Let's see how this goes. I really want to kill this mini boss. Bram's tanky, so he, he shouldn't die from this. Bram is actually really fucking tanky right now. <sighs> Alright. Oh, they have a conversation. Hey, what's the red luster all about? Pardon me? What do you plan on plan to do in Amphret? Pave the way for our master's rule. And crush those who stand in our way. Now draw your blade. I'm finished speaking to you. Nonsense. Absolute and utter nonsense. Yeah. Ram doesn't give a shit. Alright, um, I actually want to see if I can talk to this guy with Malcolm. No, there's no, there's no talking to him. I'm gonna, like, just check with everyone. I don't, don't think so. But I have this, have this, like, feeling this guy might be recruitable in the future, since he likes, he, he at least will come back in some shape or form. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, we can pull this social knight with Dewey. Dewey is super effective against them, so it seems like a pretty sensible thing to do. Yeah, no, just regular battle code going on here. We could let Malcolm kill him, but that'd be justice. This guy is tanky as fuck. He has like, okay, he's really not that tanky. Dude is, dude is just not particularly good at dealing damage, I guess. We could surround him, that'd be hilarious. And he's, he's he can't fly away, so that, that's, that's kind of fun. Um, Alright, Bram took a little bit of damage here, so let's heal him up. Just gotta make sure we actually kill this uh, this Myrmidon right here. Mm. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> we can surround the boss, that's hilarious. I love surrounding archers. Alright. What's up, dude? How are you doing? This is the tragic fate of archer bosses, I guess. And then we could let Kale get the kill, maybe? Yeah, I feel like Bram's, like, so strong anyway, he doesn't really need the XP. There you go. Oh, I guess I should have let Malcolm kill him. Blast! I wasn't strong enough. I shall take my wings, as you command, Elder Brother Cadman. Blast! Goodbye, miniboss. I do love minibosses, though. I really, really like minibosses. I feel like they should be present in more... in more maps. Alright, I'm, I'm actually gonna... Can I fly up here and shoot this fucker? If I, like, move one space upwards, I can on the next turn, actually. Do, do. Alright, so let's see. As I suspected, Dewey will take this guy out now. Dewey seriously needs to level some strength if he wants to be useful in combat. I love his critical, though. I think his tooth has, like, built-in 10% crit or something. Alright, does that death thing trigger something? The silence, it's unnerving. Cheek out the per perimeter. There are flyers almost all around us, and straight in front of us is him. Arr. Stay alert, Dewey. These men are very dangerous. Stay close to me. I grow tired of waiting. You there? Yes, my lord. Tell your men nine rounds of waiting, after which we charge. Understand? Nine, as you wish, my lord. However, yes, if the enemy is within our grasp, we will not wait. We will strike them down. Or what are you are flying away as I ordered? Our clan will live for another day. Human, call upon the others. We will weaken them even more. And this is actually one of the gripes I had in the original as well. I didn't like the fact that this guy says nine rounds because he feels very weird. Like, rounds are a little bit abstract in Fire Emblem. We don't really know how much a round is. It could be like a day maybe in a huge battlefield or it could be like 30 seconds. It's, it's really weird. So I, I like, first of all, nine rounds is a ridiculous amount of time. You're being way too nice here, Gast. Nine rounds? I can probably clear this map in nine rounds. Um, 
I think that it should be shorter, or at least skip skip the rounds. Don't say rounds, say we will wait a little while and then charge. That That's good enough for me, I feel. You don't need to be so specific. You can leave the player players guessing a little bit, you know. But yeah, some guys have just appeared. We need to take them out. Oh, <laughs> hi, Pegasus. How convenient of you to drop by. You know, right into the range of my archer. How nice of you. Good guy, Pegasus. It doesn't bother me all that much, though. But I like the reinforcements, but... This is actually a, a case of reinforcements used well, I think. Like, to like surprise you a little bit and throw you off guard. I think that's always a good way to utilize reinforcements, but... I feel like there should be some sort of anti-turtling anti incentive right here to keep you a little bit occupied. Alright, this guy will actually go for Malcolm, which I am not like a huge fan of. Um, we could have Agali meet that guy in combat. Unless he goes for Malcolm, which... Oh, I hope Malcolm doesn't die here. 16 damage. Um, no, he'll be fine. Actually, his resistance is kind of crap now that I think about it. 7 damage plus 10, yeah, 16 damage total. Be, he'll be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. You gotta be careful about these flyers, though. They can quickly sneak up on you. I'm thinking Kale can probably deal with these uh, Pegasus Knights. Slimlands and Javelin. Kale, mur Kale murder these guys big time. We can move up with Bram towards the other ones. Yeah, sounds like, sounds like a plan. I do want to visit this house, though. This is a drawing of the outside. There's a writing around this one circled area. Up and over, bush. Up and over, bush. Up and over. A tiny treat for those who could up and over, bush. Up and over, tree. You missed my words. You can't see me. Ah, it's too cryptic. I'm sorry. I, I would need a pen and paper for that shit. I am guessing like up and up and over. It's like you need to find the space. They need to go like up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Or something shit like that. I... I'm sorry, it's... I may... I mean, I'm not, like, particularly good at riddles to begin with, so I'm, like, I'm not gonna say that you should dumb down the riddles so I could understand them, but I think that even the most average player would kind of think that's a little bit too cryptic and just don't bother. I like the uh, the one in the B or the Swarm chapter a lot more, because that was a little bit more obvious, you know, you were supposed to look for a peak, which I think is completely fine. I don't mind these riddles, but I have to ask, like, they seem a little bit weird, like, why are they here? Why would someone just leave a fucking note? <laughs> why would someone leave a note in a house and go like, I'm just gonna leave this here and just leave, you know? I think that Midnight Sun did it very well by having, um, there was this map where there was a house, and in this house there was a girl. Let's just watch Malcolm's level up first. Hit points, luck, defense, crap level up, as always. And there was this girl who said that she saw saw something glimmer in the waterfall. And if you travel to the waterfall, you would find a red gem. And I thought that was a very nice way to do it, because that's like, you get a, a device from a house to go look at look look somewhere, and you find something there. That I think that's personally, some might consider it a little bit too easy and go like, yeah, man, you scrub, you know, we want a real challenge, but I personally don't think you should make your riddles too cryptic. It sets me off a little bit. Um, anyway, let's uh, go and uh, blaze this guy up. Golly, the fucking uh, hedgehog right here. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fucking fast, guys. Need my rings. Choo-choo! Alright, we need to heal up uh, our little bird man. There's also a house down there, which I wouldn't mind visiting. Also, there's also Pegasus Knight here, who, whom I very much plan to lure out with Kale. Kale's a top lad too, even though his level up's an absolute crap. Let's see if let's um see if this one uh, follows suits. Hit points, strength, skill, luck, and defense—a really fucking good level up. But still, I his speed needs to go up. His speed really, really needs to go up, because it's he's starting to get into doubling territory right now, which is not fantastic. Um, I guess... Okay, so... I gotta be careful right now, actually, because... Oh, shit! Oh, no, Kale! Uh, this is bad. Um, I think Kale could potentially get murdered right now. It depends if the boss moves or not. I think he does, actually. Ow. Can Ty- yeah, Tyron- Ty Tyron will kill this guy on the next turn. 
That was a little bit ambitious of me. I'm, I'm kind of afraid that a Kale will get mur murdered now. Oh, that guy may just have blocked them. Yeah, as I said, it kind of depends if the boss moves. Yeah, he, he moves. Oh shit, he has a longbow too. You can't win, you know. You're a fool, you cannot hope to defeat me. And why is that? You are weak. I have the skies, my ally. What do you have? Two swords and a moniker? Ha! Such conceit. Human die. <laughs> Funny one liner there. Ah. Yeah, thank god he equipped his longbow. That's gonna slow him down like crazy. But yeah, I think we just pulled all of them right now. And may not have been the smartest move. And they really like going for the poison bow. <laughs> like, oh shit, he actually hit with it. What the fuck? Poison weapons are the worst. I tell you that, they have such horrible stats on them. But Dewey's actually taking a beating right now, which I do not like. Alright, I would prefer not to draw the other guys out, but it seems like I may have no choice. Um, wielding the... Uh, no, he won't get doubled, sadly. Okay, this is actually a rather nasty um, situation right here. I might just have to retreat. Come on, dodge. Good job. Hits. Good job. I do love me a good thief. They're pretty good in combat, you know, if you level them up, some of them. Hit points, strength, because of their speed, they can avoid most attacks and they always double, which helps out their damage output. Alright, um, I think I may just be forced to, to, to pull back a little bit, I don't know. Uh, I think I need Annihila will I get absolutely devastated right here. Let's see. Poison bow is not fantastic. I mean, we could we could kill this guy with the Ashix. I think Bram will actually be fine just here. He won't get hit, so... Oh, what the fuck is up with that hit rate? A yeah, weapon triangle plus forest, probably. We still haven't seen Bram do a single crit in this entire Let's Play. It's a big shame, because it's a fucking amazing animation, I tell you that. Alright, um... Yeah, Dewey needs to go on top of a mountain. And probably heal him. Oh, wait. Yeah, he can just use a regular slap punch. On top of the mountain, he'll be a little bit more durable. Uh, I think I'll do the same thing with Kale, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'm worried about Nilo, actually. I think I think Nilo, Nilo will die if I leave her here. Because she just isn't very durable at all. And I want to move, like, Malcolm up here and kill this guy, but... Then he'll probably get killed by this guy, which is not fantastic at all. Uh, no, I'm just gonna have to move her down, down here. Maybe move her up in the mountain next time. Could perhaps like, mm, no, they attack on the same distance, which is not fantastic either. There's really not a whole lot of things I can do right now. I'm just gonna have to pray for the RNG god to help me out. They're gonna go for Dewey though, which is a good thing. Uh... A puppy? Is this some sort of joke? I see you will not back down. Your animal instinct. It is commendable, however. It will also be your end. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Good. So if the boss struggles this much hitting you, it should be a little bit easier for him to stay alive. I'm being a little bit lucky now, which is good. Hmm. The fuck? Oh shit, Tyrant's actually really low. These guys are so fast, it's really difficult to uh, to play safely against them, because their mobility is so much better than yours. Alright, I need to get Tyrant onto a forge, where it'll be a little bit safer. Or maybe I'll just try to kill them all now. I think I'll just lean towards killing them all. Um, wow, that's we can actually surround him. I want to use the Iron Sword. I should probably use the Ashix more. So will this end if I kill Cadvan? Maybe? Could be interesting to see, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna surround this fucker now. So, joke's on you, mister. Um, actually, I can't... Yeah, I, I can't if I put... Um, I don't want to, though. I need to kill this guy. Uh, 
Tyrannicon. I ah. Yeah, I need to move Tyrant onto this fort, I think. Unless I can like I can possibly try it like if I can kill this guy. And the, but then Malcolm needs to hit. It's a scary strategy, actually. 13 damage plus 12 damage. It will kill him. Just gotta make sure there's okay, I gotta make sure I don't get killed. Right here. I won't. Alright, if I miss on one of these attacks, I'm gonna have a very bad time. And then Malcolm needs to hit for the strategy to even work. But if it works, it's gonna work pretty well. Okay. I could also do a... No, I'm not gonna use the longbow, it's too inaccurate. Okay, 87%, we're gonna just pray. Oh, fucking hell. So fucking typical. It's so fucking typical, guys. It really is. Okay, so let's see. Can a golly... No, we need to... Can a golly kill the Pegasus? He can't. That's the that's the worst thing. Oh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, this this isn't this isn't good at all. Uh, I'm gonna have to like. I need to like surround the boss now, so I need to play Sadati right here. Unless I can kill the boss this turn, which might be possible. Um, seven damage plus. 7 damage is 14, which is not going to be enough. No, I can't kill him. Alright, it's going to have to be this. I don't like placing Sadati here at all. I really don't. I'm afraid Tyrant's going to die. But I really have no choice now, do I? I really don't. Alright, could get a crit. That'd be really fucking sweet. Fools, you do not understand my ambition. You know nothing of pride of honor. Allow me to show you the pride of my clan. These ravens sure are big on their pride. Alright. Okay, I I guess we can we can ah actually if I if I get retaliated on that. That's 918, yeah, I'll die. That is actually oh we can mm. No, I'm just gonna wait. With any luck, I might be able. To get the Pegasus Knight to attack Nilo, maybe? Oh, what? Wait, 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 what? Uh... Excuse me? Wait, no, wait, 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 what? Okay. Uh... Uh What? He can melee attack? Okay, I need to check. Is this Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Oh, 1 to 2 range short bows, of course. Well, I'll be damned. I, this is one of those hacks, is it? Yeah, the 1 to 2 range shortbow is prominent in a lot of Fire Emblem hacks. But I had no idea it actually made its appearance here. I guess I should have checked. So, joke's on me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that is... that is really fucking annoying. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. I decided to restart. Well, I really had no choice. You get a game over when uh, when Sadadi dies. But I've decided this time around I'm actually gonna use uh, the savior, Agali, to deal with the boss. I'm gonna stand on this mountain. And actually the boss has a longbow, so I'll need to um, I'll need to get him closer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm... Actually, Sadati is taking some heavy damage, so... I'm gonna try to like draw him in and then see what I can do. Maybe make him use the longbow to attack some of my dudes. And then just circle in on him because he is pretty darn fast. We do understand your ambition, dude. Seriously. But if he hits a golly, he fucking two shots him. This boss is very, very scary. Now that I know about the one range short bow. Halfbeak, now I will end you. Brothers, come to me, shroud the skies in arrows. He dies here and so does his human companions. Not only for our master, but for our pride. Our home. How oh, does he summon? 
<laughs> oh no, he summoned two Pegasus Knights, son of a Luprian Ranger. Ooh. Very scary, dude. Very scary. Alright, so now I think we need to, like, draw him in. Um, so what we can do is we can make him attack. He'll probably go for Bram, I think. So we'll make him... We'll force him to use his longbow. Oh, wait. Can Kale even get away from this guy? Kale should be fine, though. He doesn't, he doesn't double Kale. No, he really doesn't. And if we equip... A hand axe on Kale. He should really be fine. He can't kill Tyrant either. He will kill Nilo though, so... I think we'll just use the slap patch for safety measures. And, uh, can we? we can, I think we can actually attack him with a golly too. Ugh, I don't like that hit chance though, but I think we should be fine. Any damage we can do to him is good damage anyway, so... Or actually, we might... Ow! Oh, fucking hell. We might actually force him to retreat to a fort now that I think about it. I think the boss will retreat if he's on low health, so we'll see how that goes. Oh shit, he's got friends. Uh, come on. Okay, golly, we'll kill these guys at the very least. This is why I love having a fast mage, holy shit. Yeah, I will keep singing Agali's praises to the end. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Shit! Shit, son! Holy shit! This... Oh my god! Is that a game over? No. A golly can apparently... He's apparently expendable. Okay, this boss is problematic. I'll give him that. I, I do have a little bit of a shit luck, though. Okay, I guess we'll be back again. Alright, take three. This time around, I'm gonna try to lure the boss over to this tile right here. Or maybe here. Force him to use his longbow and then just attack him, I guess? Apparently, he also summons these reinforcements, regardless of whether you engage him or not. Which is, I suppose, uh, helpful. I mean, I thought I thought he would, like, some. I thought he summoned them on the turn you attack him, but it, it actually appears not to be the case. Uh, so Dati is a little bit injured, so we gotta keep her far away from the boss. So let's see how this goes, shall we? Um... Hopefully a little bit better than last time. We can only hope. Malcolm's also actually a little bit injured. Alright. Okay, crap. He, will, he might actually go for Dewey right now. Okay, now. What the? This boss is really fucking annoying in the way he moves. He's like always too far away. He has a long bow, a short bow, and a regular bow. That's actually... Oh, shit. And there, now these guys are coming as well. Ooh, I gotta say, this boss, I don't like him. I really, really do not like him at all. Um, now Bram can't... <laughs> Shit, son! Shit, son. Okay, I can do 6 damage. And then I can do 16 damage. So I can do, like, a lot of damage to this guy. And then I can probably finish him off with Malcolm. That's, I, th I think that's what I'll need to do. Alright, Dewey up into the mountains. Please get crits. I like this boss, though. He's actually pretty darn cool. But it, it, the game greatly rewards you for simply turtling this map. Um, I'm kind of being a little bit reckless. If I really wanted to do this optimally, I should have just cleared out the reinforcements and then gone for the boss instead of having to deal with both at once. But I am an impatient player, and I don't like turtling, so that's why I do stupid shit like this. Um, Nilo can actually... Oh, this is a big risk. I think it's probably... But I really need to use Malcolm for something else, though. Well, that's the big problem. I need him... Okay, this is... This is a risk, but a risk, a risk I'm just gonna have to take. Come on! Yes! I failed! I really need Malcolm to take care of the Voluprian Rangers. So I had to take this gamble. Hit points? <laughs> fucking hell, Nilo. What, what is up with my fucking level-ups? What the fuck is up with my level ups? They're so fucking shitty. Alright, now we need to get these fuckers out of the way. Sadly, only a golly doubles the ravens. But, there is uh, a lot of magic users over here. I don't like that. Alright. We're gonna see what we see what we do. I'm not gonna send Tyron into the clutches of two magic users, though. That's not happening. I do have my honeycomb, though. <laughs> I still haven't used my fucking honey honeycomb. Hmm. If I hit this guy with a hand axe, 
I will actually kill him. But the problem is we have like two magic users right here. One who does 11 damage and one who does 12 damage. Tyrant has 7 resistance. He'll die. He'll die, man. How about Kale? Will he die? I don't know. Will he? I don't think he will. Ugh, Nyla will die if I don't get her out of here. Yeah, she'll she'll die so hard. How's how's Tyrant's avoidance? He has 51 avoidance. 80, 88 hits. 86 hit. He has that in the forest though. Mm. We need to get her out of here. We really need to get her out of here. Yeah, like so. That's what we need to do. We need to place you right here and just pray to God we survive this. Come on, 35% chance to hit. Can the RNG go my way for once? No, it cannot. Ah, now this fucker comes along. Yeah, boy. Come on. I think he will actually... S no, he won't survive a lightning bolt. But I don't think he will get hit. Oh! What? Give me a fucking break already! The bullshit is real with this chapter. Holy shit! That's not even like map design or anything like that. It's just me being plain unlucky. Holy shit. Agali, though, being a fucking champ and taking a crit to the face and surviving, and the question is, will he survive this turn? Probably not. Ah! Little bit of luck, finally. It's not over, though. Pegasus Knight still remains, and I think he might have a Javelin. So Agali is not out of the danger zone just yet. Mm, depends. Depends on what the weapon the Pegasus Knight have. They don't have strength for shit, so they might not actually kill Agali. His defense is actually pretty solid. Oh, they're going for time. Oh, he might... No, no, he's safe. <sighs> okay. Wow, I can't believe I survived this turn. Skill and luck. Reflects my luck, I guess. Alright, I should be able to mop this up pretty easily. Holy shit, I can't believe I survived that. That was absolutely insane. Um, can I double the Dark Mage? I can. Maybe I should just get him out of the way. How much damage should I take him? Seven damage on the retaliation strike. Nah, I'll kill this guy. And yeah, you might notice I am a really, like, I'm a saver of weapons right here. I I don't like using the Ashix unless I can use it against uh, super effective enemies. Even though the, the Ashix has good stats on it, I just don't want to waste it. Hit points, skill, luck, defense. W when it comes to, like, weapons that are just generally good, I'm not good at saving them at all. Like, uh, the, the Graph Caliber and shit, I, I just use that shit up at once. I need to be a little bit careful right now. Because I do... Do... Oh, it would be so good if Dewey could kill that guy. I would love the shit out of him for a long. My golly, can actually... Ah, oh, would you look at that? He doesn't even need healing for this shit. That's actually a good deal. Yep, definitely taking that deal. We need to actually kill everyone or else we will die. Because everyone's so low. There's no way I can heal everyone up. So, the only way to stay alive is to just eliminate all enemies from the field. Alright. Um, can a okay, Kale can only ranged attack, but it might be good enough. Tyrant's like really low, and there's a Pegasus Knight right here. Which leads me to believe that, okay, Nihilus like grossly out of position. Um, this is tricky actually. This is really tricky. Um, I need to kill this mage, but Tyrant will die. No! No! No, I misclicked! I misclicked! I misclicked! Fuck! No! Okay! Holy shit, I misclicked. I was not supposed to press fight there. But I'm actually kind of glad I did. Um, Because now I can do this. And this needs to hit. Holy shit, I can't believe I pressed fight there. That was that was twitching of my finger that did that. Hey, Bolton. 
Mm, I don't want to. No, I don't want to drop a bolt on that. Oh, don't make me. Don't make me. <laughs> oh, I hate these decisions. I'm gonna drop a slap patch because hand axes are, in my opinion, more important. Um, okay, this is really bad. Um, oh, no, I almost clicked end. Seriously, what the fuck? What am I doing? Okay, I can kill the Pegasus Knights. A Golem might die if I do that. Hmm. Like, the only thing I see right here is that I might, like, I have 10 speed, which is... Wait a minute, it's not to double this guy. 11 damage... Ooh, no, I won't kill this guy. Will Malcolm kill this guy, though? He will not, but he will kill the Pegasus. Alright, it's my best bet. It really is. I mean, I'm just gonna have to heal whoever has the, the least amount of avoid. Oh, shit, please don't tell me Malcolm died now. I, no, I think Malcolm took 15 damage from the guy. We can easily calculate how much damage he's gonna do to Malcolm, so that's no big problem at all. Uh, tripled might, so 12, 18 damage plus 6. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Ah, Malcolm has 9 defense. He'll be absolutely fine. Do we please get a crits? Please, 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 please. No. Okay, so what I basically need to do now will he actually kill Malcolm? I know he won't. 18 plus 6, that's 24. No, he'll be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. 15 damage, yep. Um, so, okay, who has the least amount of avoidance right now? 52 and 48. So, Agali is the less, uh, is the most likely to get attacked from here. Um, this guy has a hit chance of 95, so about 45% chance I'll have to restart. He'll go for Tyrant, of course. Uh, wait a minute, maybe Nyla can... No, if Nyla rescues him, she... Definitely not. Absolutely not. Okay, so he'll he's gonna go for Tyrant now. I'm like 90% sure he will. Because he has a chance to kill. No wait. What? He retreats! Wonderful! The cowardly AI actually saved me. Holy shit, I might just be able to do this shit now. Okay, wow. We did it. Holy crap. We fucking did it. Unless we get some ambush spawns or something stupid like that right now, we have actually beaten this map. So, that makes me really happy. I think I'm gonna give a level to Dewey, because I feel like Dewey needs a little bit of love. Alright, can Bram actually move up and kill this fucker now? No, he can't. Oh, Bram's actually a little bit weakened right now, so... I'm just gonna not gonna take any chances, might as well take the chance to get give give Sadati some uh, healing healer experience we just need the ranged shits up here there's also I do, don't believe I visited that house over there I'm actually not sure yeah good luck dude oh wow, he actually retreated this is a weird decision the AI does sometimes decides to retreat and then attack again I really don't understand how the healing works yeah, let's go visit the... Um, did I visit? Yeah, I think I visited that house, didn't I? Yeah, that was the Riddle house. Let's go visit this one. Oh my stars, those crows, can they completely dominate the sky? You're crazy for taking them on. If I were you, I'd mind my distance. If you know what I mean. Yeah, mind your distance. Pretty much how to beat this chapter. Just mind your fucking distance and you'll be fine. Good chapter, though. Entertaining boss. We really like the enter The boss was very challenging. Alright, finally. Uh, brother, how do you fly? Not well. Damn it, you please come here. Please do something. I can try. Stand back, please. Nothing. His wounds are too grave. I'm sorry I can't heal him. Please leave me to die. No, this is all my fault. I was too forceful. Do not blame yourself. I was too lost within my ambition. I should never have lost my way. Tell me, what are you called? Malcolm. Malcolm of the Ebon Wing. The Ebon Wing? I knew your father. He's a strong crow. Yes, indeed, I see the resemblance. I am Cadman of the Dark Bow. Ugh. Enough, Brother Cadman. Do not waste your breath. There is still hope. Amprit is just beyond the gate. Come. Don't be a fool. I've taken too many innocent lives. I deserve this as my fate. I have sinned. 
Please leave me to die now, for I cannot live with my grief anymore. Please, brother, have hope! You must see it! Cadwin of the Dark Bow, what is the Red Luster? Bram, there is no time to ask that! Do not be so shrouded in your own heart like I was, brother. The human, he is correct, I shall tell you. The Red Luster promised us peace would come to Volupris. I was at a loss. Volupris is being terrorized. The eagles, they grow more powerful by the week. They sweep across the land like killing machines while our resistance numbers plummet like a faulty arrow. I, I just could not bear to see it all crumble before my eyes. We survivors of the Dark Bow escaped like chickens. We scavenged like vultures with lost hearts, our pride abandoned. I needed aid. I needed to feel alive again. Our clan was destroyed by those savages. Then a human man, an eerie hooded man called... <coughs> Cadman! Cadman, please, what was the name of this man you speak of? His name was... Sidon. Sidon? Yes, Sidon. He promised us. He promised us if we complied, he could form a rebellion to take it all back for us. Cadman, what were you doing in... Ugh, never mind. Your strongest warrior escaped the battlefield, although he seemed reluctant to do it. Strongest? Are you kidding me? This guy is way more powerful than this other guy. <laughs> it seemed, seemed so clear. It seemed so right to kill without thought. Was I wrong? What? Was I lied to? Aroda, I'm proud that you listened. Find it within yourself to forgive me. My time is up. May I be so selfish as to ask one last favor? Anything. Human and your patch, what are you called? I am Bram, and this hair is Dewey. Ah, the Tempest, your title is just. You certainly are a powerful human. And you too, animal, but I digress. You three, Bram, the human Dewey, the animal Malcolm, the Juron, or Lupris, it is in chaos. Perhaps you three can find calm to it, as you have brought to my mind. Oh, Malcolm, may you fly well. My brother of the Ebon Wing, forgive me. Fly well, brother Cadwin of the Dark Bow. Damn it. Ow. So yeah, a really sad scene right here. All right, time to give my thoughts on this chapter. Um, again, what I'm really missing is a little bit of an anti-turtling incentive because if I took my time and just inched forward, then this chapter would have become an absolute joke. I could have just pulled everything like one by one, wait for the reinforcements. And I think that's how most players are gonna play this map, to be quite honest. And I don't like that. If you can turtle the shit out of a map, I kind of dislike, dislike the design. I mean, like, if you look at the previous maps, right, um, in, in the in the first map, of course, that's the first map, so that should be easy, but the second map, where we are, like, in the town fighting, there's people coming at us, uh, and in the third map, in the f woods, we're all surrounded, so we have to fight, there's really no turtling that, and then we come to this map, which is kind of like a long, narrow pathway, with, like, road in the middle and forest and mountains on both sides, and yes, there are enemies coming from all sides, and I do like that, and I think you need to be really careful, or else you'll quickly die. But I kind of miss something that forces me to, like, push forward. I think perhaps drop the whole, we will move in nine rounds kind of thing, just make them all attack at once, maybe? I don't know, maybe make them all come at you when you defeat the miniboss. Kind of miss something like that, something along those lines. This map felt le less intense um, and more annoying because... Basically, the map told me, you need to turtle the shit out of this map or else you'll die. And then I get impatient and I don't turtle and I get punished for it. That kind of irks me the wrong way. But I love the mini the mini boss and the, um, and the alternate boss, so to say. It's pretty fucking obvious this guy becomes at least recruitable or maybe just an allied NPC in the future. If he becomes recruitable, I guess another Volupran Ranger isn't too bad. I guess, but I kind of feel like Malcolm takes his spot though, because I don't know, unless he brings something completely different to the table. Um, I, yeah, uh, we we get like the the story tries really hard to make us empathize with the boss. I suppose it kind of succeeds in a way, but I, there's just something a little bit off about it because I really feel like the boss 
I can't really relate to it. I don't know what it is, but he feels a little bit too evil, you know? He feels a little bit too inhumane, if I may use that word, even though he's not a human. Feels a little bit too inhumane, then when we're certainly supposed to feel all sorry for him. Just, just something about the way the dialogue is written that just doesn't quite do it for me, I don't know. Um, maybe a little bit more dialogue from the boss to make him seem a little bit more humane, maybe like make him question himself at the start of the map, like, is this really the right thing to do? Oh, I guess I have to, or something like that. I also question this guy's intelligence, uh, not Cadvan, but yeah, Cadvan is his name, I think, yeah, the, the boss. I also question his intelligence, like, hey, you want to join a group of fanatics? We'll promise you we'll help you retake your homeland. I guess the guy is desperate, but like, what guarantee does he have to actually, <laughs> you know, what, what guarantee does he have that this will actually be done you know it's quite a promise you know help him retake a fucking nation that like can the red luster even do that uh hey stay with us and kill some dudes and we'll help you retake your country seems like an empty promise to me why would he believe that i mean are ravens stupid by nature they don't seem stupid they seem pretty darn smart so i i guess i guess we'll be we introduced a little bit more to the lead rustle in Le red lusher in the parts to come but it seems a little bit weird to me. Uh, map design was good. Enemy placement was good. Uh, the bosses were challenging. And overall, I give this map... Yeah, I give it a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty solid map. But it, it lacked a few features that I uh, that I kind of find uh, necessary in a, in, a, in a map. I think that this map could use some polishing. Add, add something to keep me going forward. More reinforcements from the back is good. Feel free to maybe add one or two more. To just keep the map a little bit more intense. And don't just let me turtle. Have the enemies come at me. Don't don't give me nine turns. Give me like three. <laughs> give me three or something like that. Because nine is way too much. Anyway, that is all the criticism I have for this map. Still going pretty strong. I like the reworked dialogues and all that shit. And uh, if you enjoyed this part, please give me a thumb up and a comment. It really does help out the channel a lot, you know. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.